this is the MTX Road Thunder RT202. Road Thunder MTX 150 RMS. It, will you shut up? Shut up. It's 37.5 RMS at 4 ohms, 75 watts by 2 at 2 ohms. And then bridged, it's 150 RMS. And what's cool about this amplifier, it's got a sticker that tells you all that on the back of it. I got a story behind this. All right, this amplifier I had a long time ago in 2004 in my work van, pushing two MTX 15s. They were 75 RMS a piece. Uh, they were a Thunder Series speaker in their own box, and they fucking jammed. I had them for like eight months in my van, and then I almost got into an accident, slammed on my brakes and the amp went shooting right out from the bottom of the seat because it was a van and it shot and it broke the terminal so I was like shit so I was pissed cussing at the guy and I saw a pawn shop up there I was like ah go check it out remember this is 2004 pull up into the pawn shop they had the same exact amplifier for 65 bucks so I was checking it out I was like yeah I'll take it I had that amplifier for so long and I gave it to a buddy of mine I was like here I'm you know, moving out of this van, getting into something else. Let's gave it to my friend. When I was doing the Miami thing and traveling, I stopped at this pawn shop. It's like in the middle of the state. It's like in the middle of nowhere. And this pawn shop, I walk in there, and there it was on the wall. MTX RT202. So I was like, oh, shit, you know, didn't have a price on it. So I went up there, I was like, how much is it? I was like, well, two of the channels don't work. But it was going for $40. Uh, I was like, I had to tell you what. I pulled out $20. I was like, will you take that? She goes, sure, go. All right, so I'm doing this a little bit different. I've got family all over the place, if you want to call it family. Remember when I said I had uh, family members over and I had to do my review a little bit different? Everybody remembers Leo, babysitting Leo. Hey, Leo, say hi. No? Okay. And then we got these guys over here. Look at these guys. Hey, buddy dogs. Hey. Hey. Oh, how cute. So I can't use the table. I can't do my normal style review, but that's all right. So this is it. Is it upside down? No. All right, so that's it. I, lo I love the color. You know it. Red and black. Love it. I like that it's got like this, this metal piece. So the amplifier is just red, and then they put this sleeve over it with the cutout of MTX. But I, I think that's really cool. That makes this amp, when you see it far away, you know exactly that it's an MTX amp. So, pretty simple. Gain, inputs, outputs, if you want to do another one. And this is what got me. When I bought it, they said two channels didn't work. Well, it's got a high pass, full range, low pass. This amplifier, if you go to low pass, your bridge is right here. It actually turns these, ch these channels off. So if you were to put it on low pass and you had your speaker leads here, you would get nothing out of them. I actually metered it and then flipped the switch and then metered it again and then it turned on because I've had this running on two eights and then I uh, bridged it and then did 110 which that's what it's going to be doing here soon is um, going to be a one kicker 10 so it's 150 RMS 10 so this thing will work out perfect um, I really like this amplifier like I said this is my third one I've owned one two yeah, this is my third one I've owned of this brand. And that just goes to show you how much I like it. I know it's not a whole lot of power, but for what it is and what it does, it's awesome. I love this thing. Oh, yeah. The fucking sticker. Look at this. I love this. Uh, uh, the MTX uh, Thunder Series all had this sticker. I've got another uh, MTX in my closet um, that I may do a review on. But, I mean, look at that. It tells you your, your RMS rating. For each ohm, all at 1% THD, and even a dynamic power, all at 14.4. Tells you bridge, whatever you need to know here, your note, uh, your, um, sorry, your fuse. Um, so yeah, let's see what it sounds like. I mean, does it bump? So this is my work van. It's a 2015... Ford Connect. It's in a sealed prefabbed uh, box from 
Best Buy, you can just call me the King Prefabs, because, like I said, I don't really know how to make a box, but I will be making one soon. Just, prefabs are easier. So now I'm in the van. I got it turned on. It's my 2015 work van. It's pretty nice. Pretty peppy. Shifter. Little slap shift right here. Anyways, but that's the stock radio. That was a motherfucker to get a signal from. It was... I mean, this whole piece comes out, and the wires are really short, so I had to unplug it and then pull this out. It, it, it was just a bitch. But behind here, so much room. I could have threw that amplifier back here if I wanted to. That's how much room is back there. All this is wasted space. So that kind of sucks. Cup holder. So here's my audio. I got the cable that goes to an aux uh, port right here. This radio distorts right at about three quarters of the way up, so I kind of keep it a little below that. But this is my company vehicle, so I didn't want to cut any holes or, or make any holes or cut anything, so everything is removable. So don't tell anybody I put this in here, okay? Just our secret. I know this is kind of fucked up, but I didn't want to run a remote power, so it's just a light switch. You know, you just turn it on, turns on the amp. Okay, so behind the driver's seat, I have the amplifier that's running to a line control bass knob. Always got to have a bass knob, just in case. You know, bass knobs are not used to turn up. They're more of use to turn down, because if you have it at 1% distortion, you want to turn it down, not up. So I got my fuse. <laughs> now this is a 12 volt, 18 amp hour battery. Um, I do low voltage for a living, so this would go in like a fire alarm access or and stuff like that They have smaller batteries like this. It's the same shit. It's just this one's not lithium This thing does really well. So here's the amplifier Turn this puppy on boom light switch is on Turn it on got it at that or I got it at uh, It's hard to see because it's dark. It's raining outside uh, Got it at low pass so I got bass nectar on. I'll be slowing this down, but uh, live well. Bass on.